All right, so here we go, guys. Yo, J Mel is joining G Myers World right now. We about to do an interview. We haven't done this in a long time. Um, the last time you were here, I think we were talking about, I don't know if it was Siwu or Sly. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but um, it's good to have you back. Obviously. Yeah, they both cloud chasers. Yeah, what was it about? I said they both cloud chasers. The, the, the uh, Siwu, biggest cloud chaser on Twitch, Sly. <laughs> All right, so I can see that you're still having issues with Siwoo. All right, so look, this is this is point blank. I was um, at, at, I don't know if everybody's aware of what's going on. Like, uh, let's just go ahead and give a background real quick. J Mel, you know, he exploded coming in from December to January on YouTube. Uh, pretty much took over the Twitch scene as far as Madden goes. There's been a lot of hysteria surrounding him about um, what is this uh, view bot and all kinds of bullshit and a lot of other things are surrounding him like anywhere this man goes no matter what room he's in there's some drama going on so as of late like i told you way back and before i told j mel, uh, j mel directly i'm like listen i'm not gonna be one of those dudes that's gonna be like you know trying to act like i'm trying to you know like false support you but whatever you got i you know whatever you need i'm there for you it don't really matter whatever we got to do we can move forward with whatever but as far as just being one of those dudes it's just like trying to you know jump on the coattail and be like yo i'm just trying to be there i'm not one of those dudes but i love and respect what you're doing a young black man getting your money and i've stayed true to myself and with you like whatever whatever you had questions about yo we hollered we, we spoke about it we've done different things but i recently was told that you unmodded me by one of your guys like it was it was all bullshit. so what i did was once, once they told me, you know, I spoke to you about it in one of the streams, then I, then I came to the understanding, like, look, this Madden community is kind of crazy. A lot of the guys are not as bad as people make it out to be, but some of them are just no, really, no, really, no, no. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yes. Yeah, now, some of them are some decent dudes, like, to be honest with you, there's some, there's some really decent dudes there, but for the most part, the bad ones overshadow everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And then it makes it into something that it shouldn't be. And I realized something, if I keep, look, if, if I keep fucking around and not like try to isolate myself from the bullshit, something's gonna happen to where you could be like, yo, that dude G Maya was like, you know, he knew about some shit. I said, I don't want that to happen. So what I did was I told, like I always say, like, look, I got thousands of like numbers from dudes that I speak to, you know, on the side, whatever like that. I will never give up that information. I got so much information about so much other shit that goes on that I will never give up my sources for because that's just not me. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna notify dudes of certain shit that's going on if I care about that dude's well-being. My my sole purpose to you was to let you understand that there's some people that are around you regular. All of us have them. We see it with Pretty Boy Fredo. Whoever makes it, there's always somebody in that group that doesn't want you to make it. So let's just be clear about that. It's not like you're the first person that's gonna be successful that had a fucking snake. And it doesn't matter about it. We just gotta be able to identify it and you know utilize it to the best of our ability. So. That that's my whole point about where we stand right now. But anything else other than that, we we straight cool 100. Yo, I message you, you message me back. You know, you message me, I message you back. It's it's not there's nothing wrong with our realistic relationship. But the internet shit, I got to stay away from it because I I just don't want to be involved with the bullshit that comes with it. That's where I'm at with it. I don't know how you're feeling about it, but you you got some I things you want to say? Happen or like who okay, first of all, if there is someone who like don't fuck with me but they're mod in my stream, I don't see why you can't just tell me. That's like one thing. Like even whisper me or DM me like, hey yo, you might want to look out for this dude. Like No, listen, listen. The, the, yeah, no, I definitely feel and like I said, I've gone through this shit before in the past where I where, where I've tried to help a little bit too much. The only thing that I'm saying is this. Because you know the people that were with you prior and you know the people that got with you after, it's not hard to figure it out. That's all I'm saying. It's not something that you can't look at and just be like, you know what? Cause it's not like the dude is trying to really sabotage you. It's just that this, you know, a dude told me like, look, the dude, yo, you, yo, you're a mod in J-Mail stream. I, I, I did the backslash mods. You're no longer a mod in the stream. I don't know what's going on with you. Not like the dude is a snake or nothing like that. I'm just telling you outside of that, that people are conspiring to do, you are, but you already know the shit. You said like, like you what you're doing right now, you're acting like you don't know that dudes are out there trying to do that shit to you when most of them are doing it blatantly. The dudes that troll yeah, you, the dudes that Yeah, but but that's what I'm saying. I, I, all I'm saying is this. The dude, it, it's not really for me to be a guy that's gonna be like, yo, this dude is trying to do this and do that. I just got a simple message, bruh. Yo, look, G Maya, look, I, I did backslash mods in the stream. I know you a long time. Bam. The dude don't have you as a mod no more. I don't know if anything went on. 
That's it. It's not like the dude was trying, like, yo, let's take down Jay. It's, none of, it's nothing like that. It's just like, yo, look, they know me, they know you. They know that regardless of what happens, I'm not going to go crazy and do dumb shit like that because it's just the game. Like, this is not real life or nothing like that. So th it, I didn't feel the need to be like, yo, yo, J Mel, this dude just told me that you, you know, like, that's all, bull that's all child play bullshit. I don't want to do all that. So I'm like, you know what? Instead of being involved with all the other shit that goes on, and no matter what happens within the community, uh, of, yo, oh, yo, yo, J Mel's doing this, J Mel's doing that. It's just, bruh, drama, like, for, for you to have gone through all this shit and be so young, I'll be surprised if you don't got at least one gray hair, bruh, someplace. It, bruh, it, it, it. You I mean, can't I go. I, 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 I like. I actually, it's just funny to me. I actually enjoy it because it's like, like yeah. The but, reason why, like, I got big by doing what I was doing, whatever, or I got big real fast, like a couple videos took off. But I wouldn't have near this much stuff. Like, 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 it's literally all these people on Twitch who hating and then because they go hating. Like, even when I'm not around, they're talking, and a new group of people just, you know, what I'm saying, hating, put my name out there. So that's what I'm gonna be like. Who is that? Guy? Yeah. Like they sitting in the chat, EA chat with seven thousand people saying we hate Gmail. <laughs> then people saying, "Oh, who is Gmail?" And then I look at my sub count while people are talking about me in the chat, and it's just going up. Cause all they doing is giving me fame. Like I wouldn't have as near as much subs if it wasn't for them. So that's why I just welcome it. Like I'm yeah, happy, but, but, like, like yeah, but that's the thing about it. You know what it is? It's it's like you know like how they always say no publicity is bad publicity. The thing about it is this: regardless of what you're doing, because like I said, the way that you're doing what you're doing, it doesn't matter how big you grow, whatever like that, there's gonna always be an individual or a group of individuals that's gonna do exactly what's going on right now. That's just the nature of the world. But when it's like this, like bro, like people are really, really mad. It's, it's like, why are you so mad if the money you're making is not coming out of their pocket, that whole cliche, why are you so mad? And the, the answer to the question is, dudes just hate just to hate. It doesn't matter. And that's what I'm saying. It wasn't even the fact about our our whole situation of how it could be like you know fucked up by a dude trying to sabotage you is just the fact that when i was told that i'm just like yo this is kind of crazy because it doesn't really make much sense to me because i'm not i don't i don't you know say anything crazy about jmel i don't do anything wild i just go you know every every chance i get because you stream at a different time when i'm usually busy i'm like yo whenever i could go in there i go in there shout them out whatever but if anybody ever brings up your name or, or anybody's name for that matter. Like, even though, like, like you say that C was a cloud chase or whatever like that, I don't like people to talk about other people unless they're in the stream. But with you, because you're such a guy, yo, bro, you, you're like a fucking entity. Like like you said, in the EA Sports chat, it's like they, they, they don't recognize that you're in the chat. They're talking about yeah, you and you're right chat. there. Yeah, it, it's chat. crazy. But like I, you know, but it's just like what type of attention eventually comes with it because people are going to continue. Like, I'll go through my feed and it'll say like, um, it'll I'll see a tweet from like somebody saying, "Yo, bro, here goes proof that J Mel is view button. And I'm like, "Yo, I thought we were." I, I'm like, "Yo, I, th I, I thought we were past this. This shit been going on since like you know since like February. Like, my, dude, still doing that? Then it's like, oh, I just did his social blade. Look at how much subs he got. He got more than Tokyo in one day. I'm like, what the fuck? So because of that, and because of me getting, you know, I'm getting message. I'm like, you know what? These dudes gonna try because that's the that's the one thing." that people have tried to do to me, and that's why I really stay away from a lot of dudes, because they try to involve you in bullshit, and I just don't want to be a part of it. But at the same time, that doesn't mean I can't support what you're doing. Like, it doesn't mean that it's like, oh, yo, fuck J Mel. It just means that I need to be away from it, because somehow, some way, I'm gonna get intertwined in the bullshit, and I just don't want, I, a lot of dudes, I don't, I don't like to really play around with dudes' loyalty, unless I know who they are. So I don't want to be in there and it's like, oh, yo, this dude g Maya, yo, he knew about this, he knew, like, nah, I, nah, I ain't know about shit, bro. I don't even want to be a part of it. So all I, that, yeah, that's why, you know what I'm saying? With Twitch, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what you're saying. My whole thing with Twitch now, like, here's what I'm talking about. Uh, a lot of people be like, like, oh, you're not really in, like, you know, I haven't been streaming a lot lately. I've been doing a lot of YouTube. I don't really be popping other people's stream. Like, I'll pop in your stream and a couple other people, but I'm not as involved with Twitch no more. And I tell people, I'm still in the mad community because I have to because I stream this game, but I am not, uh, don't associate me with this Twitch mad community. Like when you say a top Madden streamer or who's the top Madden Twitch streamer, I don't want to be that streamer. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a top streamer. Like, I don't want nothing to do with this Madden Twitch community no more whatsoever. Like, what, why is that? Why, why, why do you feel that way? Because like the stuff that goes on in this Madden Twitch community that they let either let somebody get away with 
or like let someone do like see who's calling us black mother effers, you know what I'm saying? And just they letting yeah. it slide. Well, he was joking, everybody knows a joke, whatever, whatever. And then Big kept telling two black, two little black kids, uh oh, here comes the Negro squad. Oh, I can't call them Negroes, they are a bunch of ignorant Negroes, like and he's a what? white male, like and people what? yeah, yeah, he said that. There's clips of it, bro. Like that's why your mama like made the stream about him and the video, whatever, but that's exactly what he said to those people and the people was the, even one of my mods, I had to unmod him. People was literally defending him saying, well, those two kids deserve it. They were arguing like a bunch of little kids or who cares if he said it, we're in 2017. So we're in 2017, why are you still even using words like that? Like, Hold on, wait a minute, are you, are you serious? Are you serious that I'm Big Cap said that? Serious. Hold on, cause, yo, yo, anybody in the stream, can you guys send me a clip? Can somebody send me a clip? <laughs> cause yo, send me a clip of that. Cause I, I wasn't aware of that. Somebody send me a clip of that, please. All right, go go ahead, JML. I'm sorry, bro. I, I, I can't believe that that shit happened. But go ahead, go ahead. Okay, and then it was just like after he said that, and the stuff C will be saying is just like I can't like. And then I'm like telling everybody, I'm sitting there saying like, Big Cat, we're not saying you racist. We're like, oh, y'all not y'all saying I'm a racist, whatever, whatever, whatever. Y'all saying I'm a racist, whatever. And I'm like, I'm not saying you're a racist, but it's wrong. What you said was wrong. And it's like, at this point, it's like 200 people in the chat. Like, you know what I'm saying? See where everybody, but almost the whole community in there. I'm like, what you said was wrong, period. And it was like, oh, y'all just still get offended in 2017 and this and this. And I'm like, we don't get offended. Like, I'm not offended by that word. You're not putting a, you know, you know what I'm saying? You're not putting a smirk on my face. You're not putting a frown on my face. But at the same time, it's ignorant for you to say we're getting offended where literally hundreds of thousands of people have died at, before being caught that word and sprayed with fire hoses. They caught them Negroes before they were hung. They caught them Negroes before they threw hot coffee on them. They caught them Negroes before they burned their houses down. They caught them Negroes before they shot them in front of their house. They caught them Negroes when they was out in the slave field. So when you say that word Negro, black people are going to get upset or going to be like, why are you saying that? Because it's first of all, it's childish to you as a yeah. grown adult to yeah, be I saying agree. that in this world. You know what I'm saying? In 2017, like people let him get away with that. And then the whole thing with Siwoo, then I can't go into an EA chat without the whole EA chat becoming about me. So at that point, I was like, I'm going to do my own thing. There's still a few people I mess with, like you and everybody else. But do not consider me a part of this. Like people like, yo, you're a Madden Twitch stream. You got to represent the Madden. No, I'm not representing for this Madden Twitch community whatsoever. Like they can, they killing themselves off. You know, the two, 300 co competitive people here can do their own thing. But I got my own stream. We got our own thing in there, and we're doing our thing. Period. So, 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 when you when you found out about that, what was what what did you do anything else other than that? Because I because I, I was not aware of this um this big kept because I, I, I thought because isn't isn't big kept like a mod in ESPN D stream? Yeah. yeah. I, oh, I see, a mod in band, man. Oh, okay, okay. So hold on. You you had a modded too, though, right? Yeah. yeah. So what did you do with him after he did that? You still got a modded? No, I, I banned him. Like, as soon as he said it, I modded myself from his stream, and then I banned him in my stream. Like, okay, then okay. after that, I'm like, Cap, you gotta, like, it, it's wrong. It's it's wrong what you said. He said, it's not wrong. Y'all just getting offended. Even if it is wrong, y'all getting offended. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, yeah, that shit. Okay, okay All right, so this is what. So, so I'm like, okay, they let him get away with this, right? But as soon as I do anything, you know what I'm saying? It's not even just me. If anybody in this community do anything, like Jemiah, if you was to do something like. Like when Sibu Welch that guy the other week, you know, he told the guy, I'll pay you, I'll play you five to one hours. They played, Sibu lost, and Sibu said he was just joking when he never said he was joking. They let him get away with it. <laughs> you do that to someone for a million coins like he did, they're not letting you get away with it. Jemai is a Welcher, da, 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 yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. But it's like, Cap can do that, and everybody forget about it. And then what Sibu said, people said, well, y'all act like y'all, can, you can forget about words. That happened last week. Y'all just do this, do this. But it's, I do nothing, you feel me? And like, I get all this hate or people still can't stop talking about it. So it's like they they literally will pick and choose exactly who they so that's at that point I knew no matter what I did, they will pick and choose who they like, who they don't like. So I said I'm like don't consider me a part of this mad and twitch community no more. I don't want to be associated. I, the only reason I'm still associated with the mad community is because my YouTube channel is about mad and I have to Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. No, cause that's what I was about to ask you. So I don't what I wanna be associated with that. Okay, so 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 with, with with the whole situation of what's happening right now, uh, let's just fast forward to back when we had our conversation when you were still growing. Um, is it is it everything you thought it would be, or is it something that you just did, never imagined that it could be? As far as the people that you interact with on a daily basis within the Madden community, I mean, it's what I thought because uh, I saw like 
once I like I saw like a glimpse of it like when I was growing on YouTube from like 8k I had like for, like December 21st I had 7,000 so and they was like uh, I was trying to play other YouTubers like similar mouse and when they start acting fake and like fugazi I was like this okay these people acting weird like you know what I'm <laughs> they, they acting real weird so then I came to twitch and I noticed they start acting weird but I'm like, okay, maybe that just see one his people. Then once I realized how much followers are in this community, like it is literally, like literally people don't even know who I am. And like here's what I saw in the EA chat one time, Jamai. We were it was Friday. They were streaming a game, the group stages. Like it was like three weeks ago. They were streaming the group stages. Literally, a dude said, "Who is Jay Mayer?" I remember his name. It was like Frank Frankie O One Three. I remember his name vividly. He said, "Who is Jay Mayer?" They said, "Oh, he's a YouTuber, whatever, whatever, whatever." He didn't know me on Friday. Saturday, they streamed the next round, and then everybody started, you know, Jay Mayer, AK, Jay Mayer, this, and then he said, "Yeah, F Jay Mayer." I'm like, he didn't know who I was until 24 hours ago like literally they will follow whatever is the the trend or the wave that's going around oh man, you know, they don't like jml we don't and literally the people who say they don't like me don't even know who i am they just follow on other people but well, nobody else likes them so we can't like me and it's just like at that point i'm like they all followers like there's very few people and that's why people who do come to my stream and mess with me like i always tell them i mess with them too because like they don't they not follow it's easy to be like everybody else oh joe hates jml problem don't like jml see what don't like like Jamel, so we not gonna like Jamel. It's easy to do that, but the people who choose not to do that, I I, I respect them a thousand percent more. That's why I'm saying I'm not not yeah. Forget it. I'm not a part of this Madden community no more. I do okay. my own thing. I stream Madden, but I'm not a part of this Madden community no more. Period. Uh, okay, so so pretty much what you're saying is like 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 you you already just stated it because it's like a double edged sword. Your, your your channel is about Madden, but you don't consider yourself a part of the Madden community. By default, you're still a part of the Madden community regardless. So how do you plan to move forward? Because like, even though right now, the way that you feel about how you just described how one guy didn't know you one day and the next day is just like F you, that's only gonna continue to go on. Because the way that they set you, like they, they set you in a certain box right now to where it's like, yo, this guy is this, this guy is that, this guy is that. And it's just like anything else. Like you get convicted of shit with public opinion before you do anything in the real world too. So they just, that's why, that's the reasoning behind why I'm saying what I say to you. When I'm like, yo, you got to make sure that you understand vividly, you know, that it's it's a, it's a situation. Hold on, hold on. What, what the, oh, okay. It's a situation where these people are not going to stop what they're doing. So you can't let it affect you. I don't know if you remember, bro. I told you all this shit. Like, bro, le leading up to, what was it? Like, the, the, the first yeah, interview yeah, we yeah. had. I was like, yo, these dudes are going to make you hate this shit. It goes back to with me. Like I said, right now, the way that I look at it, it's like, in, in, in what was it, like 2012. Because when Koopa Go Live was glitching the fuck out of people, bruh, he glitched IMAV. He glitched uh, IMAV's friend, um, Miss, uh, Dream Killers, who was a really good player at that time. He glitched like half the fucking Madden Master my community. And nobody would acknowledge it. So what did I do? I fucking bought an Elgato. And I'm like, yo, he, bruh, the motherfucker glitched me when I was like number five or number six on the leaderboards in Madden like 11. So I'm like, hold on. I put out a tweet and I'm like, yo, does anybody know this dude? Because the dude outright glitched me and it says that he's on a negative one win streak, but he got the win. That's when you could do it with the Cain and Abel. So I'm like, all right, let me investigate it some more. Because when I came in, it wasn't like I wasn't part of the community. I just wasn't putting out videos, but I knew Addy Cards. I knew all the old school dudes. Them dudes got nothing but love for me and nothing but respect. Shout out to Addy Cards, by the way. But I was with some real individuals and I'm like, yo, how the fuck is this guy glitching everybody and nobody's saying nothing so i hollered at imav i hollered at mr golden sports i hollered at all the other dudes that were just coming up imav had like what was that like twenty five thousand or yeah like twenty five thousand subs at the time and i'm like yo imav came to my channel and left a comment the, the um the, his comment is still there he's like yo g my your shit is tough whatever i really enjoy your video so i i, I we were talking about like yo somebody has to know that this dude is doing that so his own homeboy Dream Killer said it. He's like, yo, the dude glitched me. So I'm like, yo, what the? F so nobody's gonna stop this dude from doing this shit? And then, you know, IMAP stopped fucking with me at that point. Cause I'm like, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys are out here making money off the game and you're letting this dude run around with his big ass face, with his tight ass tank top, just doing whatever the fuck he wants. And he's glitching outright. It's not like nobody knows what he's doing. He's outright doing it. And he's selling the glitches on Twitter 
with his fucking face on the fucking yo, bro. He's selling the DC glitch on how to do Cain and Abel on Twitter. I still got the pics, bruh. I still got the pics. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? So at that point, I completely separated myself from everybody. The only person yeah, that I could really sit, bruh. The only person that I could tell you was a real fucking dude, and he just he 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 was at the prime when he stepped away. Was Addy Cards, and he told me he's like, bruh. I blew up to this amount of subs. I can't do this shit no more. And I'm like, what? I'm like, yo, you're starting to make money now. This is early in the game when people were making real, you know, like YouTube has changed the way that their ads are nowadays and they're fucking with people's money. But back then, it was a lot more money for the ads because it was different, you know, however they did all that shit. It wasn't about minutes. It was just about views. And I'm like, why would this man step away from all this shit? And I'm like, oh, oh. And at the time, remember, after I got into that whole situation where I'm having everybody, Addy Cards still put me on his recommended channels. Addy Cards is a real fucking dude, bruh. That dude right there, he, he yo, the, the Madden community, they just didn't deserve him. I, I'm going to tell you this right now, bruh. Out of all of these dudes that I've been doing this shit for a while, and I've had so many opportunities to do collabs and all that shit like that, and I just wouldn't, bruh, because I didn't have the stomach for it. Then I realized, I'm like, you know what? I got, you know, I'm gonna mingle with whatever like that and just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But I tried to do so much with this shit. Bruh, when, when they were just selling ebooks, Mr. Zeddy, all these dudes were selling ebooks, um, BZ. I put that shit on my website. At that time, I was getting a thousand visitors to my website, bruh. People were buying their shit. And I don't want no, I didn't want no profit from it. I didn't make any deal. Like, yo, give me a percentage of it. Because I wanted the community to grow. But it's, it, it, the, the way that these people, like with you now, for instance, just because of whatever. You had whatever you done you, you did previously, it doesn't matter about how you grinded, it's all about you getting your success now. Because while you were grinding, they they, they never showed you this much hate. At all. When you were at seven seven thousand subs, eight, oh yeah, fuck that mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me just be fake to him and let have fun with him. I'm not showing yo, whatever. As soon as you fucking started growing and they saw your numbers getting crazy, right around the time that me and you were talking, the hate just got the, the hate level went up to a thousand. And that's pretty much why a lot of dudes step away from it. They go to 2K, they do a lot of other things. And, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very unfortunate. And like you said, I didn't even know that Big Cape was doing that shit. Well, my whole thing now, though, because this morning I was like, okay, let me go up back. Because, like, one of my moms was in there banning people because I guess he got mad at someone else in the chat. So he was banning that person in my stream. And I talked to him, like, what are you doing? He was like, he was, me and him was arguing. I just didn't start banning them because we got, I was like, you can't take away my viewers because of whatever. But then I look at my ban list. Then so I'm like, let me do a mass unban, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people get banned for no reason. My moms go rogue. That's what happens. Whoever you got to ban back, we are banned back. I did a mass unban, Jemaine. Jemaine. They 496 people was banned. 490 got bro. Oh wow. 490. And I only ban people like if they really talking shit about me, like they saying something like J Mail this, you know, if you buy whatever, whatever. Literally 496 of them people exist in that this Twitch community. So when I saw that number, I said the Twitch community only so big. We only average like a thousand, thirteen hundred, twelve hundred viewers on Twitch, right? So I'm like 496 of them people would really just oh, I hate like you know what I'm saying they will hate you. So then at that point I said okay, you know what I'm saying like I I just want my own community. Like I want like I'm able to sit at a like like the way you sit at your home screen right now. I can sit at my home screen and at my awesome team and just talk to my chat. You know about LeBron football. We can sit there and talk and laugh about whatever. Like I don't need to play this game to help viewers. Like a lot of these Madden streamers, if they're not playing, nobody gonna watch them because people are only there to you know what I'm saying take their scheme or do whatever. Like I can okay. sit there and hold 400 viewers while I'm talking about LeBron. We have fun. So that's the only thing I want to create is basically a platform for stream people to come in there and just enjoy themselves without you know what I'm saying seeing somebody spam nigga blitz spam bunch we can sit there and talk with a muted mic or not talk <laughs> but they might need to play a 15 out paypal game because like I said I want to do my own thing now like, that's when I realized like it's just crazy like that's okay why so J I, J I, uh jo Joel Joel CP Joel CP is in the chat right now and you know I heard that you and him had a falling out and he seems to have an issue I, mean, I can't with even see what he's saying no, no, he's just saying. He, 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 oh, he, he's just saying, please stop this shit. Uh, that's what he just wrote. I guess because I'm talking to you about, you know, what? You see, you see oh, yeah, yeah. another person. I yeah, blocked. okay. So he's what? What, what? What? You see, this is like I don't know what the situation was with you and him. I don't know what's going on with it, but it is that it the fallout between him and you? What? What? What was pretty? What was the problem with you and this guy? Me and him? I mean, nothing was like I used to be. I actually used to respect Joe. Like last year when I saw him playing Mo. 
like serious mode. Uh, I, I used to actually respect him because when he was beating Mo, you know what I'm saying? Everybody used to rob Mo's dick. You know what I'm saying? They all used to rob Mo's dick. But when he started whooping Mo ass like last year, Mad 16, a lot of people didn't like Joe at first. You know what I'm saying? They they were just like, they were just like, you feel me? Like, Joe this, you think you so good with this? I actually respected the dude. I was like, Joe holding his ground, doing his own thing, whooping this nigga ass on stream. Yeah, I saw, like I saw some of yeah, I, I saw, actually yeah. was following him. I started following him when he was streaming, you know what I'm saying? He didn't really have a computer. He was streaming from his PlayStation. So I'm like, I actually fuck with this dude because like, no matter what they said to him, he didn't, he didn't, he like, even to this day, he don't take shit from nobody. He don't, you know what I'm saying? He basically just like me, like somebody can say some shit to him, he doesn't give a fuck. As long as he's doing his own, that's all they yeah. care about. But then like, I guess, you know what I'm saying? He start, I don't know what happened, but like, it wasn't really, really a falling out. He just started saying he didn't fuck with me. And I was like, all right, if you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. It's whatever. So we just left it at that. Oh, okay. Cause every, see, that's what I'm saying. So this is what I'm trying to tell you about this matter community. Whatever was going on, people were saying like, yo, bro, J Mel is arguing about Joel CP right now on stream. Dudes, you know, running in my stream whenever that whole shit was going on. Yo, bro, this and that. So that's why, I, this is the thing about it. Like I said, yo, I watched Joel CP play uh, Mo like, I think it was like three or four times this year, bro. Like maybe like last month. And I actually, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, this dude was really out there putting in work. So I agree with what you're saying, because that doesn't, whether we like, J, uh, you know, Joel or not, or whatever, like, whatever the situation is, doesn't matter. You still got to respect his game for what he's doing. That's just my opinion. Like, the dude yeah, really I, does want really game. Like, I don't care about Matt. I respect him because, like, anybody who cannot follow a crowd, like, he could have easily hopped on Mo's dick, you know what I'm saying? And be like, yeah. you know, yeah, Mo's better than me. I got luckier. And there's people in his stream, man, shut up. You ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? Mo made a champion. Said, you're, you're not making no money doing this. You don't got a sub, but yeah, he was sitting there taking all that shit and just, you know what I'm saying? He could have folded. Like, people expected me to fold. I didn't fold, you know what I'm saying? They expected him to fold. He didn't fold. Now that he's good, a lot of people, a lot a lot of people who actually follow him now and sub to him used to be on his dick, you know what I'm saying? Like, or not, they, they used to hate him, but now they're on his dick every day. Oh, good shit, Joe. Yeah, Joe's gonna be the truth, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but that's what happens when you stand up for yourself and you don't fold. Like, people who fold and start doing exactly what their viewers want them to do, like, people like see with them, they don't ever make it. And it's, and that's exactly yeah, yeah. what happens in this community. Like I said, you see, the thing about it is that's why I like to, you know, just pick your brain and shit like that as you continue to grow. And we can always look back once you make it to wherever you're going to go with it, because it's really, really hilarious the way the whole journey is. That's the biggest thing about it. The journey is the best part, because like I said, Joel CP, he goes wild sometimes. But regardless of whatever he's doing, like you said, he, he, do, he does his own thing. So you can't really be mad at him because he's not looking for you to like him. That the same way with me, the same way with yeah, you. We're not, yeah. You a lot of yeah. a lot of these people get good at Madden, right? Yeah. And they start kissing all the top players' asses. All of them. Like I'm not saying like hate them, but a lot of people will get good and instantly start kissing problem ass, true. You know what I'm saying? Kid that Joe don't yeah. do that. Like Joe cool with a lot of them. But Joe don't at the end of the day, Joe care about winning this tournament actually, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he bought his going, money. Like he Joe got money. good. He don't kiss their ass and retweet every one of their tweets on Twitter. Always <laughs> riding their dick, always spending them up. He's not like that. A lot of people, you can say something about somebody to one of these top players. No problem is this, problem is that, or this this guy's not, this guy's not, but or true boy ain't this, true boy ain't that. Joe is not like that, bro. Like he's really like if you're a top player, he don't give a fuck who you are. If you say some shit that he don't like, or you disrespect him or do some shit that he don't like he gonna let you know but most yeah, people yeah, can't yeah. do that because they scared yeah. of these top players they don't want to disappoint them they don't want these top players to be mad at them and they want to be cool and that's like that's the only thing i can respect about somebody is being 100 percent real yeah 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 he, yeah he's young too so that's good he has that he's he already has his moral set so that's good but like i said okay so pretty much this, this is this is what the problem is i don't know why the fuck joel is saying he don't fuck with you i don't know why you guys don't fuck with each other but this is my whole thing right now. This is the only reason that I really try to talk to specific individuals. Wouldn't it be better if we all know that that's the way we feel and we're straight up, if we come together and just do something together? Wouldn't that make sense? I mean, yeah, exactly. Because here's a, you know, the crazy part about, even about Joe, like, I, don't, I can't see what he's typing or nothing right now, but I literally was like five seconds away from subbing to him. And then somebody was like, oh, J-Mail just came in the chat. And then Joe was like, oh, that J-Mail, he fucking weirdo. And I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was literally on my PayPal screen, like, because I was like, you know what I'm saying? This is like, this is like uh, in December. I ain't been in the stream in a while. He ain't streaming in a while. So I'm like, this dude, I remember this dude, you know, he played Mo, whatever. He a real, he a real ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? 
I was like, about to, you know what I'm saying, lying to my PayPal, J4, that like, when you die easy, whatever. And then they were like, your mail chat, and he was like, oh, he a weirdo. I was like, oh, shit, well, <laughs> I guess that's that, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, like, but even if you don't fuck me, I'm not going to sit there and make a big deal about it. But it's like, I move on, like, I do me no matter what. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand that. It's just like I said, pretty much, you know, they had the problem with ESPN and fucking uh, Yo Mama and shit like that. I spoke to both of them, they hashed it out. It's just like, yo, once you know that an individual... It, you know what I'm saying? It's not trying to look out and try to do something crazy to you, and we could probably do something together to make it grow. I'm just trying to figure out why don't we just do this shit to make it grow? You know what I'm saying? It, because it, you try to make mad and grow, like people want Madden to grow, but they want to grow while they're they want to grow while Madden grows. If Madden's growing and they're still like a lower level streamer, no one knows them. They will hate on whoever is coming up. Like that's why I mean they can't hate on Joe now. You feel me? Because like, but when he was coming up, a lot of people hated on him because they didn't want to see him become good. But now that he's yeah. good, they can't do nothing about it. So they got no choice <laughs> either. You know what I'm saying? It's either like you get the hell in or you support him or you, you get the hell out. But when he was playing Mo last year, nobody knew him or GPH. A lot of people hated him. But now that he's, you know what I'm saying? He made himself known. I'm one of the best math players this year. They can't say shit about it. So they got no choice but to hop on his dick now. Like, that's okay, so... All right, so uh, hold up. He just said he beat your mama twenty eight zero in the first, and he spotted him seven. But your mama's not that good anyway. I think your mama, I think he just does it more for the entertainment because everybody that plays it, even C Wu was blowing him out. And isn't C Wu a bum? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, bro. I'm just trying to say this. I think that we need to focus on more about trying to figure out how we could do something to come together, and just just do it that way because it's not a lot of individuals. And it's like like dudes like Chris Move and and like Duke the Killer. These dudes stay away for this reason right now. And like like we, we all know, like Duke, Duke the Killer just got really disgusted with Madden. Like I told you, I used to talk to him every now and again. And he just got disgusted with the game and just said, fuck it. But that was really what his channel was based on. So obviously it hurt him a lot. But he still gets his little bit of sponsors and shit like that. God bless him and shit, whatever. But dudes like Chris Move and shit, like they, this is the part of it. Because it's like we can't do anything together. Possibly. And like right now, you could say what you're saying right now. But... The dudes that fucked you over in the beginning, you can't ever go back. You see what I'm saying? Like once a dude fuck you over yeah, wrong, yeah. you see. So so now you that's already cut off. So now what do we do to grow? That's all. That's the I only mean, I'm thing. Not, like I said, now I'm doing me. Like there's a you there's a Twitch tournament coming up. Like I think T Raw emailed you about it or whatever. DM you. And then yeah. they were talking about yeah, we want to play, we want to do this, we want to do that. I told T Raw like I'm not. I don't want to do it. At first I said yeah, then I said I'm not doing it. Yeah, because it's like. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to be a, like near this no more. Like, I'm going to still stream. We're going to do our own thing in my stream. Like, I can pull six, seven hundred viewers. We can sit there and talk about LeBron. And, you know what I'm saying? We can, we can, we don't even got to play Madden and have fun in there. I just do my thing. We all cool. But, like, as far as all this Madden stuff, like, it, it seemed like too much is focused on a video game Madden when we're trying to stream and, you know, become, saying, become successful streamers. You know? It's weird. Like, why are we focusing? If we want to have a successful stream, why are we focused on the video game so much? Or if the only thing that makes you relevant in this community is being good at a video game, then I don't want to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? Because unless okay. you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars, why even you feel me do that? So, okay, so pretty much with, with the whole situation, like I said prior, you're going to always be considered a Madden Twitch streamer, which is why you were invited to the thing. So, as far as going, you know, with that whole aspect, regardless, you're going to continue to grow. You stay on the right path. Let's just say that continues to go. You're going to still, every now and again, see a dude that's going to turn on you, turn, so whatever whatever happens, because it's like a trend right now. Dudes just find a reason to hate and whatever. Like, didn't you and uh, that dude slide make up even after all his bullshit? Or no? Because I know no. you guys did the fucking, uh, whatever, YouTuber tournament together. So I told, him, I told GPH I didn't want him in it. I told him if he was in my bracket, I wasn't playing. Like, luckily he wasn't, but if he was in my group, I wasn't going to play. I wasn't going to oh. give him no type of video, no nothing, nothing. <laughs> okay. All right, so pretty much based on what he did to you before, you consider that as an unforgivable thing? Yeah, like, you made yeah. a, you made a, you made an eight-minute video with a bunch of lies in it. Like, <laughs> he took, and it, here's the thing, the way he edited that video, he edited his video, that video took him at least 40, 40 to an hour, 40 minutes to an hour to edit. So you took 40 minutes and watched yourself clip and cut a bunch of hate about another man you don't know. <laughs> Like who can, who has that much patience to cut up and edit a video with pure hate in it, bro? Like I don't get it. So okay, so you, um, you 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 stay true to what you said about that. Uh, as far as like whatever whatever problems you had with that man, that that is still considered a problem with that man. Is what you're saying about that dude slide? Yeah. 
Okay. And Siwoo, so like same thing with Siwoo. Siwoo blocked on everything. Twitch, Twitter. Uh, I don't even know what else he got. Uh, Snapchat, everything. He blocked. Okay, so now let's get to the big question about what's been going on. There's been a lot of speculation about you and Siwoo. Apparently, although you say he's a clout chaser, people have been uh, tweeting out all kinds of shit with you still being in this chat on the low. Um, what's going on with that situation? I mean, I only go to his chat when a bunch of people blow up my Twitter and I mention saying Siwoo's talking about you again. So I just like to go, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go see what he was talking about. And I go in there and of course, you know what I'm saying? He's anybody who's from TG, play me, play me, play me. Because he only wants that because if he does play someone, you know, with the word TG in a name, he will, he can put that in his title. And it's like, it's like, and then literally in the EA chat, like, if you don't like me, why are you saying anyone, any TG bum who wants to play after the game, I'm streaming? Like, you're trying to just use me for free advertising. It's like, bro, like... It's just it's slow to me. I don't get it. Like he literally his stream is dying. Like like, <laughs> like I don't be like a pit nobody on blast, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's lying, he's sitting there with the with the number three hundred ten subs on his screen. Which yeah. is a lot because that number's been there for the past month. And you, when you have stream lab, you, the number will change every day. When someone he, he can get three new subs, the number still doesn't change. So then you know what I'm saying, somebody asked him, when are they asked him how many subs do you really got? And T who said, Don't worry about it. So you sitting there lying to everybody, bro, and you sitting there begging, you know what I'm saying, just begging me to play you. Then he messaged me on Xbox this morning saying, Why are you on Netflix? You don't have a girl. And I, I forgot I didn't block him on Xbox, so I had to block him on that. I'm like, Why are you messaging me? Why are you yeah. messaging me on Xbox at three in the morning asking do I got a girl over watching what it's like what? <laughs> no, but you would see what hilarious, bro. Look, I just love what you yeah, I just had to ask you that because that shit is hilarious to me. Alright, yo, yo, UNC, what's good? Okay, UNC is up in here. What's good? Alright, so alright, so where we are right now is this. You're pretty much right now at this point. You're saying that you're doing your own thing based on what you've been getting from the community. That's where you are right now. So you're part of uh, you you still is your YouTube uh, tournament still going on? Oh yeah, our YouTube tournament, yeah, it's still going on. Okay, so you still got to do that. So you still can't. You you ain't you ain't doing none of that shit for the time being. You got to finish that. Plus, you said uh, you know T Raw uh, invited you to his with EA Sports. So it, how how are you saying that you're gonna be doing your own thing, but you're still involved right now with these other things? I mean, I'm doing that YouTube tournament just to finish it. Like we've been doing this for a month, so I'm just finishing that out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, so okay. once, I want, cause it's three games left in single elimination. So once I play TT, beat him, then play whoever beat him, win a championship, whatever, I'm done with it. But besides that, like, I'm doing, I'm gonna upload my videos. I'm gonna stream. You know what I'm saying? We gonna stream on YouTube. We gonna do our thing. Okay. All right. So, uh, pretty. Uh, all right. So, so, so that's where we are with you right now. You're just like you're frustrated at this point, and you're just trying to fucking move on. Um, as far as competitive Madden in the future, I know people have been asking about that. I just wanted to uh, ask you directly before you get out of here. Um, what is what what is your future with that? Because people have said that, you know, they've gotten better with your tips and things like that, uh, that you that you are a skilled player. Would you ever pursue going to one of these EA uh, sanctioned events? Uh, probably not, because like, like, because where I'm at, like, okay, like, because here's, like, every time I talk about this, people are like, oh, you just hate the competitive man community. Like I said, I respect what they do and what they do is hard like what, what some of them do is hard a lot of people call themselves competitive man players aren't really competitive man players because here's here's my thing if i do competitive man if i do anything jemiah i want to i'm going to do the best i can like when i do youtube i want to make the best thumbnails i want to do the best editing i want to do that you know what i'm saying like i want to do it at, at a high quality like when you do youtube you, you want to have high quality video but here's the thing like you play competitive madden people will play 400 games the salary cap they don't have a lab partner they don't take it serious they don't sit there in lab formations or lab whatever and do all that to actually get better at the game but they call themselves competitive Madden players. Like people like Joe, Serious Mo, True Boy, all them people, they got lab partners. They have setups for every formation in the game. You come out in the formation, they see, they know exactly what they're about to set up, and you see them making quick adjustments. But a lot of people like see we don't even lab, have a lab partner, do nothing, and call themselves a competitive Madden player. You will never be a top level player just coming out and saying, Yeah, I'm a competitive Madden player, playing 300 games, making it to single elimination, and getting first rounded on the online single limb. You feel me? <laughs> So, because people like, because people tell me all you gotta do is play five games 
a day or like three games a day and you can qualify that's all you gotta do no that's not all you gotta do if you really want to win a hundred fifty thousand dollars you need to have a lab partner you need to lab every formation you need to figure out the next best blitz you need to figure out how to beat the next next best blitz and a lot of people don't do that and when they want to they get first or second rounder or they don't make it they play all these games for no reason they be like oh but i'm still a competitive man player no you're not bro like, <laughs> okay Okay, like you're so. not like because i guarantee like like if you watch joe play when someone comes out in a formation the way he make his quick adjustments and set it up because he already know what to do because he's labbed it before he been there like he knows it. that's why like joe didn't just fucking pop out his mom vagina good at madden like he actually takes it serious like like when i take youtube serious like it's like taking Madden too. This can be a, almost a whole nother full time job because these people spend two hours labbing and then they go into games to qualify and people just think, oh, they just become good or they're gifted. No, they take the time to do this shit. Like, and it's it's, it's like retarded. Like, like he didn't just pop out his vagina good at the game. <laughs> so, so you so to sum it up, you have no interest in doing that because right now that your focus like, is. I, I wouldn't be able to. You wouldn't be able to. You know, do YouTube full time. Stream full time. Not even. I don't stream full time. I stream a lot, but I don't stream full time. And then do that every day. No. It's just okay. Not so that. All right. So that's the, okay. So as far as branching out, what do what do, what do we have to expect? Because the way that you feel right now, I, I think that you got to just give it some time and just learn like really to embrace what's going on and understand. Because like for when you feel like that, it's very very hard for you to continue to produce the content that you've been putting out. And obviously you got a fan base. You're growing, but you're starting to see that a lot of shit comes with it. Um, I wouldn't want to see you do that because it just makes but but you know what it is because you are a dude that really Understands and you feel like the, the like it's just full-blown hate. It's starting to affect you in your psyche a little But I don't want I mean, you it's to not go me. It just make me realize like it's making me come back to reality that J-Mail you can't make everybody happy yeah, yeah. So, cause, that's cause a fact. part of me, part of me wants to try to make everybody happy, but I gotta realize you can't make everybody happy. But that's exactly why, like, as we speak, there's a there's someone on my 2K account grinding my mind player, and to get all his Hall of Fame bags. Because, like, like I said, I reach all the Twitch community for mad followers. You know what I'm saying? All the basically it's only like 1200 of them you feel me so i reached all them but in the uh, 2k community like you branch out there i'm gonna still upload youtube videos and like madden and all that and stream madden but then i'm gonna just start playing 2k because it's a whole nother community like it's a whole nother thousands of followers like hundreds of thousands of subs over there so that's exactly what i'm doing i'm just worried about entertaining at this point i want to be able to play game stream and entertain because entertaining it was going to keep getting me paid and was going to keep people watching play a money game like it, it gets boring Okay, all right. So like that's that, not so, going to keep you today. Okay. Well, I, like I said, man, I, I know, like like you just said, you're a busy man. You got things to do and stuff like that. I'm very, very, um, like, I can't believe the whole situation with what happened with Big Cap. I wasn't aware that he also was using that type of lingo. Um, so that was good that oh, we yeah. actually... Was, and everybody uh, let it go. That's why you didn't hear about it, because everybody let it go. Yeah, that, yeah, because, like, usually they let me know. And then, um, okay, and, and, and Joel CP is letting you know, by the way, he doesn't lab. So I don't know what that means. Okay, he just wanted to let you know that. Um, I don't, how the fuck? What? How don't you lab though? Wait, I just realized I just said that shit. I'm like, what? How the fuck don't he? All right, Joe. All right, listen. Let me just let me just finish this out with you, bro. I don't know how the fuck this motherfucker out there beating the shit out of dudes and don't lab at all. Um, but it is what it is, man. Like I said, as far as whatever you got going, hopefully everything works out the way it's supposed to. I I would hate to see you step away from Madden because. You know, it just doesn't we, make we any not sense. Step away. We not yeah, step right. away. Okay, like I said, just continue to continue to put it out. Continue to deal with the bullshit because nobody got successful, you know, overnight without dealing with some bullshit. So, you know, that's just something you're gonna have to be able to just to stomach. But it gets harder, bro. It gets harder the more you keep winning. And I mean, you know I think it's gonna get easier because, like, at this point, I used to like when people, hey, I used to be like, damn. But now I get the biggest smile on my face once I see EA chat turn into J Mail chat. Like, it feel like that's my chat. Like, you see TD spam. Like, when I see, like, when I see that, it's just like, you know, what I'm saying, I get the biggest smile on my face because I don't know. Because like at this point, all you can do is be happy about people not liking you. Like, it's like a hobby now. Like, I wake up and like, it's like I have a hate, like a sub count, like a hate count, like. I see it rising. <laughs> I get the smile on my face. Cause no, that lets that, me know. Cause my those people are who spread my name out. Like my supporters don't really talk about me as much as they do. So when they talk about me more and they reach people, then other people reach people. That's what helped me grow. So that's why I love them. Like, I can't thank them enough. Like 
Like, I, like literally, once we hit, cause I'm gonna hit 100k next month. So once we hit 100k, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give all of them a, you know, what I'm saying a shout out, uh, a verbal, formal shout out on YouTube just for thanking them. Like, and I will have their links in the description, so my followers can thank them. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So that, that's definitely, that's definitely what's up, man. Well, like I said, uh, you've been growing consistently. Uh, hopefully, you continue to do that um, and just be able to stomach whatever this community is and like i said man you already know it's definitely going to continue to be the same way it is what it is but like regardless of what goes on you know where we are so i just want you to understand that based on everything with the way it was going like the way people are trying to manipulate and do whatever like even even just now when you were just talking about you made a joke somebody made a joke about i'm modding one of your subs and people are like oh shit yo you are modded them you don't say like anything that anybody says becomes bullshit and it's just for some yeah. strange reason that you're in you you but you notice though you're you just said it like you go into an ea sports chat you're the fucking chat you go any like bruh it's just so much yeah, hate but the EA hate sports chat no more. that's my chat <laughs> Oh no, but bro, even in the EA Sports chat, like they be like, yo, J Mel, who's J Mel? Oh, J Mel this. Oh, C and J Mel. Oh, they virgins. Like, bro, it's the same shit. No matter where you go, you people are fucking it's just it just hate everywhere, bro. So the bottom line is this. What you're planning to do, like I said, regardless of what you do, I wish you nothing but success. You can always hit me up. I know that, you know, hopefully we stay the same way going through and you continue to grow. And it is what it is, man. It, you know, go ahead like right now. So what are your plans? For today, are you streaming? What are you doing? Like, the people want to know what you're doing. I mean, I'm uploading um, two videos. I'm probably not going to stream because the EA term. I'm going to upload these videos, finish editing this video, and then I'm going to go visit my chat while they streaming the W games. And I'm going to talk to my chat, you know, watch watch 4,000 people spam my name for no reason. <laughs> and I'm going there, leave, and that's going to be that. Right? Oh, man. Like I said, all right. So, you know, if anything else comes up, man, um, you know, I definitely hit you up, but like I said, it's nothing but love, man. We got to continue to grow, so I'm gonna definitely, um, we got to figure out a way to, to just deal with the shit, bro. It's just, yeah, we, I, we, we gonna talk, bro. We gotta talk, but we'll probably talk off the stream or something like that, and we'll figure something out, because I, I just don't want you to feel like it, it, I'm doing it just to do it. It's just too much, but yo, bro, you already know the shit that's going on, bro, and I just don't, you know, I don't want it to become something that it's not. That, that's pretty much where I'm at with it, man, and, um, oh, yeah. but like I said, we we can all we can always chop it up anytime, bro. But I just I much rather us be on that level than on this internet level where it's like, oh yo, he did this, he did that, all the bullshit. I don't want to deal with that no more. So, whatever that means, however you want to handle it, we could definitely talk about it. But you get nothing but love and support from here, bro. And we're gonna continue to grow. And hopefully you get to that, you know, your goal next month, and you celebrate it the way you said you, you know, that you're gonna do it, and you keep grinding, man. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I just like I said, as always, I want to thank you for coming through. Uh, it's definitely appreciated, and hopefully we could do something in the future. Oh, yeah, no doubt. All right, I'm going to holler at you. Peace out, bro. All right, bro. Easy.